I have to say, the, the, this for me, the, the Leger, I, I call it now the Leger thing, because in the beginning it was not a read, it was for me, the, 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 I met Guy Leger, and from this moment when Guy asked me whether I would like to, to start making or developing the oboe read with him, this, from this moment this is the most exciting thing I ever did in, in, in my life. My name is Gustav Hartmann and I'm one of the oboe players, uh, my position is second oboe in the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra. I'm Andreas Ottens, I'm a principal clarinetist of the Berlin Philharmonic. The Berlin Philharmonic really is a crazy bunch of people, I would say. It's an amazing orchestra, but what you have to be aware of is that we always work on 150% of energy level, and that's pretty, right? That's pretty, pretty amazing, actually, because it's never boring, it's always on the edge, it's always, everybody risks to be, um, uh, well, to, to, to be just 100% there, and that can result in amazing results. It was just a, a great fit when we came together with, with Leger um, yeah. to, to have somebody who is just in that mindset to, to be trying to improve things and approach them from a completely new angle. Uh, and that opens so many doors. I've been playing uh, Leger Reads since probably six or seven years. So from the very first um, concert I was playing with the Berlin Phil. Uh, I was using Leger reeds also, so um, uh, it's, it's been part of my playing, um, of my professional playing since the very first moment on. Uh, actually for me it was very, very exciting to get to know Guy Leger. Uh, my friend Martin Kustmann, he introduced uh, Guy to me. The first thing we ever did together, I showed Guy how I'm doing a cane reed. I showed him how I start, how I do it, with the tubes, with the cane, with everything. And then I gave him a lot of things, like half finished reed, finished reed, only the cane, only the tube, everything. And he took it with him. And so, after a while, I got some reeds. And these reeds, they look like, like, like this. You, you cannot see the difference. But you can hear the difference. The first, <laughs> the first read was like a, a children's trumpet, and, <laughs> and so I said, "Yeah, okay, it's vibrating, but yeah, you know, the sound could be a little, be little better." Now the reads are at the point we are using it in the orchestra, and we are still going to develop it. And when I use it in orchestra, this means we have already a very good oboe read. Um, the thing with my colleagues, I have, um, I always said, look guys, I have to try this and we want to develop it and they are very excited about it and they, please, please, come on, come on, we need one, we need one and so I said, good, let's do it like that, I develop it and you tell me whenever you feel, no, 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 that's not good in the orchestra and I never had it up to now, never came something, no, it's not good, they always said, no, I don't see, hear the difference, it's fine, it's great. So just go on. And this gave me the, the courage to, to go on. And, and this was a big help for us uh, in developing the reed. And now we are on a point where we are really working like cane reed ma makers on, uh, on, on, on plastic reeds. And this is nice, great. Perfect. When it comes to the clarinet, there's so many different ways of playing the French system. Uh, also in America, it's very, it's a very different setup. Um, then we want to create something that really works for uh, the German and Austrian uh, style of playing. And uh, the last developments have been really satisfying, and I'm really happy about it. And I can only urge people to to be open to try, and um, to also try different setups. Not only take one read and. And, and play it and then judge, but um, be open to actually put some work in there as well, um, because it's very promising and uh, yeah, can only, can only um, encourage people to do that.